El general Villa ha sido el único mexicano que no se dejó robar por los gringos. Hasta su tierra invadió para demostrarles quiénes somos los mexicanos. Ojalá y los nuevos presidentes tomaran el ejemplo de Pancho Villa. My name is Richard Dean. I live in Columbus, New Mexico. Uh, I am a historian and an archivist. On the early morning of March 9, 1916, Pancho Villa and approximately 400 of his troops came in across the United States border just over here to our right. And the Camp Furlong soldiers were over here to our left. He brought his soldiers up to the railroad tracks towards Camp Furlong and approximately 4.20 in the morning, something like that. He attacked in the village of Columbus, which had about 350 inhabitants. My great-grandfather, James T. Dean, uh, he saw them start the fire in the mercantile store and he was going to go downtown and help his fellow townspeople uh, put out the fire. And he only made it down to Main, the corner of Main and Broadway Street, which is the, two, is the crossroads of the downtown area. And when he was found the next morning in with a pile of viest, dead viistas, uh, they found that uh, he had 17 bullet holes in him and his throat had been cut from ear to ear. Uh, he was uh, an innocent victim, as were the other 18 Americans who lost their lives. <laughs>